Welcome to Huntsville, Texas, Sam Houston Statue Visitor Center, home of General Sam Houston. It was a gloomy morning when we went. They weren't even opened yet. Okay, it's nine o'clock. The Sam Houston Statue and Huntsville Visitor Center is officially open. It was dedicated to the honor of Sam Houston, October 22nd, 1994. Hey, kitty. Kitty says subscribe. Oh, look, the azaleas are blooming. Spring's on its way. All right, let's go see if we can find Sam. It's a short path between the visitor center and the statue. And there are a couple of signs. This one reads, Did you know in 1999, the Huntsville community put together a time capsule depicting what life was like before the coming new millennium? It was placed inside the statue's right leg and will be opened in the year 2099 to showcase the difference in 100 years. That's really cool. On down the path. Oh boy, it's getting loud because we can hear the traffic from I-45. <gasps> there it is. We can get right up to this amazing statue. This is crazy. Here are some fun facts. The statue is 67 feet tall. 77 if you include the base. Well, why wouldn't you? The eyes are one foot each. The nose, one foot nine inches. And his famous cane, 32 feet. Wait till you see the replica cane in the visitor center. His ear is 2 feet 1 inches. Well, let's make that his ears are 2 feet 1 inches. His hand is 7 feet 6 inches. And this statue weighs 60 tons. It's truly incredible that you can get right up to this thing. We've been driving by it for years and never realized it. You know, it just goes to show you just don't know what's lurking around an exit. So here's all the traffic going north and south along I-45. To get to this statue, you take exit 112, Veterans Memorial Parkway, to see old Sam Houston. Okay, that's his right leg. I wonder exactly where that time capsule is. That is just really a great idea, don't you think? On the back here, it says, A tribute to courage. David Atticus, the sculptor, 1994. Have you subscribed yet? If you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you take just, like, just one second right now and do that? Thank you. All right, as we're continuing to go around this statue, and I suggest you watch the travel playlist to see more exciting places. The colossal statue is named A Tribute to Courage by David Atticus, but is often dubbed Big Sam. To create Big Sam, Atticus needed to transform 30 tons of concrete and steel into the bigger-than-life monument. A life-size plaster version was fashioned during the fall of 1991. Atticus started the project in early 1992, not exactly certain how he would accomplish the task. He admitted that it was really a work of engineering without any blueprint. All tools used during the building of the statue were put inside the cement mixer and lowered through the head to the heart to forever be the heart of the project. Aww. Positioning the right arm was a major undertaking, and slight miscalculations where the two torso pieces joined translate into major time-consuming corrections. Big Sam consists of five layers of concrete laid over steel mesh attached to a welded steel framework. And here is a quick timeline of Sam Houston's life. He was born March 2, 1793 in Virginia. In March 26, 1814, his first military experience was at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend. And we've been to Horseshoe Bend. It's over in Alabama. You know what that makes me think? I'll have to do a video on Horseshoe Bend. In 1823, he was elected to represent Tennessee in the House of Representatives. 1827, elected to the governorship of Tennessee. In January of 1829, he married Eliza Allen. And in April of 1829, he resigns as the governor of Tennessee and goes to live with the Cherokees. In the summer of 1830, he married Tiana Rogers. In December 1832, he arrives in in Texas for the first time. In November of 1835, he is elected Commander-in-Chief of the Regular Army. In January 1836, he issues orders to remove all cannons and blow up the Alamo. I never heard that. And on March 2, 1836, Sam Houston signs the Declaration of Independence at Washington on the Brazos and observes his 43rd birthday. And we've been to Washington on the Brazos, where Houston declared its independence. April 1836, he leads the Texas Revolutionary Army to victory over the Mexican Army at the Battle of San Jacinto, or San Jacinto, as we Houstonians call it. And you'll want to watch my video on that. September 5, 1836, he is elected the first president of the Republic of Texas. 
Texas. And in May of 1840, he is married to Margaret Lee. Not sure about all that. In December of 1845, when Texas becomes a state in the United States of America, he is elected along with Thomas Rusk as one of Texas's first senators. In December of 1859, he is elected governor of Texas, only man to be elected governor of two states. Go Sam! March 16, 1861, he was deposed as governor of Texas for refusing to pledge allegiance to the Confederacy. You know what? That's tomorrow, the anniversary of that date. And on July 26, 1863, he died at Steamboat House in Huntsville and is buried in Oakwood Cemetery. And we have been to both the Steamboat House and Oakwood Cemetery. And you can see a signature here. I am Houston. It's really Sam Houston, but he signed it like he is saying, I am Houston. A famous signature for sure. Leave me a comment. And if you want to join Big Sam's Honor Club, this is how you do it. And this is a Sam Houston replica cane. There are lots of things to see and do in historic Huntsville, Texas. Flip-flops on the ground and classic road trip. Thank you.